よ。<笑>
What? Did you have a favorite event? Oh, I I don't know. I have a few. I think that I really like when students do like, cause like you guys. Um, so sometimes the students like will pick a day, and all of them will do a day dedicated to um, their country. And that's usually a lot of fun, like, because it creates a huge cultural awareness on that country. And, like, a lot of people come, like, it's crazy, like, a lot, a lot of people from campus, like, uh, students, staff, faculty, like, they come to see it. And I think it's amazing because it lets you, like, uh, learn about this country's culture, like, a little more deeper and a little more intimate, if you want to put it that way, because it's this students from this place, like, showing you that and I think my favorite part about that is seeing how passionate they were about it that was definitely I would say those are my favorite and international education week is just a whole lot of fun <laughs> it's a lot of fun too because it's a whole week dedicated to basically us international students and it's just incredible like all the activities that we have to do every day it's just like it's very fun and I'm sure you all will like it too. Yeah, it's a, a lot of work, but so much fun. So much. It's so, so much worth food. it, though. It's <laughs> so much yeah. food. Yeah. Oh my God, food for sure. Like, there's always food. That's for sure. Yeah. Like, there is always food at the CIC. Like, even if it's something little that we're doing, like we're always offering like some sort of like food and stuff like that. It could be snacks. It could be a whole meal. Yes. You never know. <laughs> Okay, well, yeah. thank you so much. We'll get into events more. Um, but just so you guys know, we're going to go through the campus tour together. Um, then we're going to go through um, things to do on campus and things to do off campus. We'll talk about housing, um, how to apply for housing if you want to live on campus. Um, and we'll also have a time for a question and answer. So if you have questions specifically for Paula or me, um, you can put them in the chat, like I said, or um, mm -hmm. at the end, we'll unmute you guys and you can and ask your questions aloud too. Okay, so moving on, we, where are we? So I know a lot of international students know about the United States and know about some of the large areas and maybe know about the coastlines on either side. Um, we are located in Wisconsin, Concordia University, Wisconsin. Um, and Wisconsin is that yellow state on, on the map there. And I zoomed in a little bit so you can see we are about 20 minutes north of Milwaukee, which is the largest city in Wisconsin. It has over a million people, um, so there's a lot going on. Again, you know, <laughs> when quarantine isn't happening, there's a lot going on. Uh, yeah. And then we're a half north of Chicago. Um, so there's two very large international airports there in Milwaukee and Chicago. So um, th that's very handy to have. And also having two large cities very close to each other. Um, so on your weekends, on your breaks, um, there's great places to go and visit. Um, what those, what will, what will be happening um, next year is, is a big question mark, obviously. Um, right. So uh, we'll, we'll see. Um, but right now they're doing a lot of things that you can do digitally. Um, but we can get to that a little more later. Okay, so the campus tour, I'm going to exit out of this and we're gonna come back to here. Okay, can everybody see the, the tour here? Paula, good? Yeah, I see it perfectly, yeah. Perfect, okay. So as you can see here, we have uh, Lake Michigan. We are on the shores of Lake Michigan and it's absolutely gorgeous. So this is the view we get from campus. Um, here we are right at the outside edge. Um, oh, got a little too many things going on, I think. It's okay. It'll just slow it. Yeah, okay. There it is. So here we are. Um, so if you go all the way down to the bluffs, which is closer down to the lake, it's a place where you can look around um, and, and go down um, to campus. Um, so here we are a little closer. Here's about the um, admissions entrance. So this is where you go for domestic admissions and tours. Um, and then we have over here the International Center. Um, and then over here on the left is the brand new um, Batterman School of Business building. So it's it's um, very uh, gorgeous on the inside. It's insanely pretty. Yeah. 
It's very modern. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Have you had a class in there? Uh, no, but I did study a lot in there. You um, they have, yeah, they had like, they have like really, like really cool study rooms. Like you get your own mm -hmm. and it's really nice. Um, and I just went there for the smoothies too. They have the smoothie <laughs> bar in there. So it's like really, it's great. <laughs> Definitely. But yeah. And it's just like a different vibe on campus that I just want to go there. Definitely. There's yeah. also a lot of green space on campus, so plenty of room to, to play games outside, play soccer or um, football. Um, and then also these trees are the perfect distance apart for hammocks. Hammocks. <laughs> yes. So you'll see lots of students out there um, hanging out on hammocks. And reading books and just chilling and it's great. Definitely. Snowmen in the winter months. Um, oh yeah. So here's the chapel. Um, it, it's a very large uh, space on campus. Um, so uh, there are daily chapel services here. Um, you do not have to be Christian to come to Concordia University, Wisconsin, but we are a Christian campus. Um, so they have daily um, chapel services here in, in the chapel. All right. So moving on to the International Center. So this is where Paula and I spend a lot of our time when we aren't um, being safe and social distancing. Um, yes, correct. All of, <laughs> yep, we have student worker um, desks right here in the front. Um, and then the offices are where um, our staff members are. Um, but we have lots and lots of events in here. Um, it seems like we had one every week um, <laughs> pre-quarantine. Um, <laughs> always something going on. Uh, we like to think of it as kind of your living room. So yeah, a lot of studying happens here. A lot of just you know grabbing food and coming and eating here, um, watching movies, even napping. Some people actually take naps in there. Sometimes I've seen it happen. <laughs> yeah. Right. Honestly, it's your safe space. It's your safe space for you guys, and you're well, like you're all welcome to do and sit there and just study, or just even if you just want to hang out and just like relax for a moment. Okay. Like that's for you guys to do. Yes. Uh, here we are in the library of campus. Um, so it's a very big space. This is probably the most popular space to come study. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, it's very hard to find a seat in, in the like finals week. It's packed. Um, yeah. But Paula, did you come study here too? Oh my God, yeah, a mm -hmm. lot, a lot. I <laughs> There were times that I would stay in the library until it closed, That's until cool. it closes, and it closes at two in the morning. So, wow. yeah, um, but yes. So the fun thing about the library is that there's two parts of it. So there is a section where you can sit and like you will see a lot of people and like people are talking and stuff like that. But you can still study, put your music on and just study if you want. But if you get distracted easily, there is a part where you go down a hallway and it's called the quiet section. And once you go down that hallway, you won't hear anything like it's for people so they can focus better if they just focus better by being by themselves and just like very quiet so you can just go down the hallway and sit at one of the tables in the back there's a bunch of tables in the back and there, you'll see people there but like you just are not basically you just focus on your stuff you don't you don't see people socializing like in the main area mm -hmm. so you got those two options uh there's also a coffee shop like right in the li inside of the library and they sell yeah they sell starbucks and they sell like little pastry like bagels cookies or like fruit they sell yogurt drinks little drinks like orange juice and stuff like that so yeah yeah definitely snack coffee and studying they go hand in hand when you're a coffee. oh my god totally yes absolutely i agree <laughs> yes and you can see there's a computer lab over here as well um, so uh, you can you can work on homework there too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so going on to our health professions lab. 
So if you are in um, one of the health professions, you might find yourself here. So this is one of the places where you can, um, there's classroom learning, but then there's also a hands-on learning. Uh, so you get those skills before you enter the workforce. Um, obviously, uh, those are very helpful and also make you very employable. <laughs> um, so this is where our, um, where you would be learning um, on either we have uh, mannequins that are specifically designed to be um, like a simulation of a, of a real person without having to work on a real person. Some of those skills though you use uh, with, with your classmates. Um, so being able to check blood pressure, things like that, those happen in here. So there's lots and lots of room for you to practice. There it is. <laughs> and so here is one of those mannequins I was talking about. This is called the simulation lab, um, where you can practice being in like a real um, hospital room. Um, so it'll look very similar to what you would see when you're actually out in the field um, in using those things. But then there's also a place where you can debrief and talk to your professor about what you did well, what you're going to be doing, um, things to improve on. Um, so it's, it's a great space to have on campus and so valuable for getting those hands-on skills. <laughs> have you been in one of these rooms, Paula? I have. Um, however, I never had a class in there. I just been there just to see them. I don't know a whole lot about them because I wasn't in the um, health part of it. I was business and art. So. <laughs> Yeah, I, my mother was, is a nurse, um, and I did not get that urge to, to work as a nurse. <laughs> little, too, little too much blood for me. Um, yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> so here we are in the commuter lounge. Um, that just means that um, this is a special place. If you are living off campus, um, you can come here and hang out, um, but it's open to everybody, um, especially since they serve um, sandwiches here. Um, so sub sandwiches, if you're familiar with like a Subway or a Jimmy John, something like that, um, that is where you can find um, that meal if you'd like. So there's a lot of places to eat on campus and a lot of different study spaces. So it depends on what really works for your learning style. It's up to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is definitely places to study on campus that are everywhere. Yeah, the everywhere. Really nice. Yeah, you got you definitely got options on uh, if you like if you like quiet, if you like people, if you want to be close to food, if you just like there's so many places. If you want your own little room, you can have your own little room to study too. Like I said, there are study rooms all over campus. So all right, so here is the School of Pharmacy. This is our second newest building. Um, so it is also gorgeous. Um, but our uh, Concordia University, Wisconsin has a School of Pharmacy, which means we help with all stages of the pharmacy schooling process. So we have um, a pre-pharmacy degree, or you can get um, a Bachelor of Science in Pharmacy. And then we also have um, the PharmD classes. So you are able, if you'd like, to, to apply for the PharmD classes as well. Um, but there is a lot of, uh, there's a very high-tech lab on the third floor of this building, um, which has all of the very um, new equipment that you can get that hands-on experience with again. So being a smaller school, you have the chance to actually use the equipment and not just watch someone else use the equipment. So when you go into the field, you can say, yes, I already know how to use that piece of machinery. Um, and you don't have to train me to do that. Um, so that's very valuable. Yes. Okay. So moving on to the auditorium. So this is where a lot of the plays and the concerts and the theater, um, that is where this happens. Um, we also have a theater club so even if you're not a theater major, but you just want to see what it's like and, and participate and um, being in a club is a great way to make friends very easily and quickly because you have that shared, um, that shared passion uh, and, and task of being able to, to work on something together. It's a great way to get to know each other. 
Um, so this is the auditorium. Paula, have you watched any shows or, or skits? Have yeah. Oh, uh, oh my God. Yeah. I've been in some actually. Oh, you've been <laughs> in some. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. I've been in some skits. Um, cause when I was in RA, I was in RA for two years. So we had to do every year one and it's, it's really fun. I got to see some from other people and I've got to see him some place there and it's just really it's fun I love it I personally like just really like this that type of stuff so I get to be in both sides and uh, on the stage and and the seats as well it's great it's honestly it's I absolutely encourage it um also um besides that besides the things that um are offered in the clubs like campus like the theater club or like the skits and stuff like that. A lot of times, um, residents life or student life, sorry, brings um, different type of shows to like Concordia and they're usually happening here. I've seen uh, hypnot, like hypnot, hypnot, uh, yeah. what do you call it people? A hypnotist, that was hilarious. It was so fun. Um, they usually bring one every year they brought a magician in insane as well super fun like and like those are like those are free like those are free for students to go and um, you'll see like the advertisement like the publicity of it around campus when they are bringing them and that's a fun part of it they're all totally free yeah definitely there's a lot of free things to do on campus we know college. oh my god yeah um, yeah um as a student worker, you get some, you know, extra spending money, but it's nice to use that for things off campus, not on. Oh, yeah. Um, so here we have one of our labs, um, and I'm going to move forward. We're going to move through the rest of these a little fast because we have other things to get to, more fun things to get to. Um, and I want to make sure we get done in time if you'd like to go to the what to do section. Um, we can finish time for you there. But here you can see it's a standard lab. Um, so you can open those vehicles while being safe. And then here is our main dining hall. Uh, this is uh, Siebert Dining Hall. Um, and as you can see, it's quite large. And there's lots of different sections of food. Um, and then here is the actual seating area. And they'll also have presentations in here as well. So right where that red wall is, that's where a drop down screen happens. Um, <laughs> So there's um, the salad bar over here and the drinks station. Um, over way back in that corner where you can't even see it because the space is so big, um, is the daily menu that kind of changes out. So Paula, what could you see there on like a normal a normal day? Like what are some options? Well, you uh, the cafe opens three times a day for bre for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> breakfast you always um, breakfast is usually pretty similar every day. It's just eggs, sometimes pancakes, sometimes French toast, uh, bacon, or stuff like that. Just the typical American breakfast. But you also get to have omelets if you want to, and you make your own omelet. There's an omelet bar. There's a smoothie bar. There is a fruit like fruit section for lunch. Oof. There's so many options. Uh, it changes every day, um, but I don't know. Sometimes there's tacos. Sometimes there is burgers. Sometimes there is um, Thanksgiving dinner. Sometimes there's even steak and stuff like that. Like it really it depends. It changes every day. Um, but there's a pasta bar where you can make your own pasta. I'm pretty sure that one is every day. Um, there is a panini where you can make your own like sandwich and subs. There is always a dessert. Um, and the vegetarian option, right? There's the vegetarian. There is a veg there is a vegetarian, the healthier option, okay. which is the vegetarian or gluten free or, um, yeah, vegetarian or gluten free. And they usually, I actually really like that part because they usually will have like, um chicken and rice and veggies and stuff like that and I don't know like I like those type of stuff um but yeah it changes Especially every day. for people who aren't um coming from America already um America tends to really like um salty and fatty and, and things like that so being able to have something that's a little closer to home or where it's a little yeah 
lighter. That's exact. Yeah, that's exactly it. Why I like that era of it is it was like closer to home. Like even the seasoning of it, some of it, it was very like, like the seasoning of the rice, the rice and stuff like that. Or even the way the chicken was made was very more like, it felt more homemade. Yeah, if to put it that way. But you got options. You got options. You could be craving a burger another day. So, right. Yes. <laughs> Um, so here we are in the nest, which is kind of the hangout space on campus for, you know, doing like pool and they have shuffleboard, um, movie nights, you know, stuff like that. And then right over here where you can see that is like our little convenience store on campus. So if you want something like um, something when the other areas aren't open, um, this place also has um, another restaurant inside as well. So if you want um, stir fry, they have a stir fry there. This is also where people get like chicken tenders and fries. Salads. Um, salads. Um, sushi. There's sushi in there? I didn't know that. Yeah, not all the time. There is <sighs> sometimes, it's, um, I think on Tuesdays or Wednesdays. I don't remember, but like they have sushi sometimes there. Awesome. Yeah. And then there's a seating section that goes back a lot farther as well. Mm. Okay. And for dinner, it changes. For dinner, they usually have burritos or tacos and stuff like that too, instead of a stir fry. Cool. Mm. So here we have the athletic training facility. So if you are interested in the athletic training... Spend um, a lot of time there. <laughs> oh, yes. So our student athletes um, <laughs> also spend time here in the ice baths, which I... Yep. Again, not a student athlete. I don't get it, <laughs> but I've been told it helps a lot with recovery, right? It does. It yeah. does. It what really does. Sport? What was your sport, Paula? I play lacrosse. Lacrosse. Yeah. yeah. Um, it does. And also, like, when, like, student athletes are injured, um, the athletic trainers, like, usually, like, do that, like, physical therapy on you and stuff mm -hmm. like that and it's really very helpful like I injure myself one of the seasons I sprained my ankle really badly and I was in there like every day and it's very helpful and it's good for the students like that are practicing because you get to practice in that field you get to actually practice with an actual person and like tell them like like if you're going for physical therapy or athletic training like you'll be there as a student, not necessarily as an athlete. Right. So again, yeah. maybe a hands-on experience. Yeah. Um, so here is the field house. Um, so this is the big gymnasium where we have a lot of sports games happening um, and lots of um, places for you to go watch and, and be proud to be a Falcon. Um, you know, wear the, the blue. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Yes. And, and cheer on the Falcons. Um, there's also an area up here as well. I think that's for um, baseball and softball for them to practice. Uh, and wrestling as and well. Wrestling. Well, I think that's mainly wrestling because they, oh. use, they just open um, little like baseball slash softball like practice area. And it's up, like it's outside by the, by the soccer field. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. um, so on campus as well, we have um, the outdoor sports areas. Again, great to go um, cheer on and, and be right outside your dorm room. So if you're like, you know, it's a beautiful day, we want to go cheer on the Falcons, um, have a great time bonding with friends, um, hanging out here is a great place to do that. Yeah, it's really entertaining. It's really fun to go to events. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, this is the only building that isn't connected to the main campus. This is the uh, CCES building, which is for environmental science. Um, so it has gorgeous views of Lake Michigan, you can see there. And downstairs they have things like the water lab. Um, so they have like aquariums down there. Yeah, they have animals down there. And animals, definitely. So. What we didn't see on camp or during so far on the campus is the underground tunnels um, and the underground tunnels connect every part of campus except for this building. Um, and so during the wintertime, you never have to put a coat on. If you're living on campus, you can pretend it's, it's beautiful all day um, and not go outside if you don't want to. 
Um, although being on Lake Michigan, it's really gorgeous just to, to hang out outside too sometimes in the winter. Yes. <laughs> So here is one of our res residence halls. This is Chemnitz. Um, Chemnitz is one of the newer buildings on campus, um, but they have a really good, cool hangout space here, right in the residence hall for you mm -hmm. and your um, suite mates, your roommates to hang out. Um, every residence hall has something kind of similar, um, but like mm -hmm. Bella said, that there's tons of places to hang out on campus, even if it's not in your residence hall that year. Yeah, there's so many places, like so many. Mm -hmm. Even and like every resident hall has different, like similar but different. Like for example, like in Coburg, there's kitchens in every floor. If you need to use one of those kitchens to cook something, right? You can. There's lots of different styles of dorm rooms. Um, so mm -hmm. there's this one where you have lots of um, roommates in one kind of uh, apartment, and then this is the shared space. Um, some aren't like that. Some are more traditional where it's you and the roommate. Um, mm -hmm. There's a bathroom, a large bathroom at the end of the hallway. Um, so there's a whole bunch of options for you. Yeah, totally. Okay, so that is the residence halls. We are going to jump back into, oh, making sure I have all my things. <laughs> Give me one second. Multiple screens here. Okay, so we did the campus tour. Um, this is just a little thing. Uh, what place do you want to visit first? So if you put it in the chat, what, what are you most excited to see when you come on campus? And while I'm on this screen, I did notice that we had some questions in the chat to me privately. So one of the questions was, um, when are we resuming school? Um, so our plan is to start on campus, on time for the fall. Um, if you are a student who has been accepted but you don't have your visa paperwork yet, uh, we will be, um, if, you, if you need, uh, we can defer your I-20 to fall, or uh, excuse me, to spring free of charge. If you'd like, you can start online as a student and then complete your studies in the spring. Or if you want to wait until you want to do all of your, your schooling on campus, you can wait till spring as well if you aren't able to get your visa interview in time. We are still issuing um, I-20s just to make sure if it's possible for you to get an interview before the fall start date, you can do that. Um, so there you go. Um, oh, thank you so much. Um, we have a student introducing themselves to everybody that is very nice. Um, will you be missing classes if we join during the spring intake? Um, so that will depend. Um, if you, you will of course be delayed by a semester um, because you're starting a semester later. Um, so that would be. Okay. How do I see the conversation? <laughs> what? Oh, I found it. No, nothing. Never mind. <laughs> there you go. So Pablo says he wants to visit the track first. Definitely, that's a great space. Um, all right. So if you want to start in fall 2021 as well, that is that's open. We understand that things are crazy right now for our, especially for our international students. Um, we need to be as flexible as possible. We will work with you. Okay. So going on to on-campus events and activities. So like I said, we have a lot of different sports teams. Uh, we actually have 32 different um, Division Three sports teams. So it's there's always an event happening. Uh, even now, during, during quarantine, our eSports team, um, which you can learn more about on Friday if you'd like, um, is still playing. Um, so that's amazing. So there's always <laughs> Uh, we also have the WIT ice skating rink. Paula, did you ever go ice skating on the on the WIT ice skating rink? No, I actually had no idea. I think that that's newer, isn't it? Um, no, it's actually something you could see from the highway. Um, it's right by um, the WIT Hall, so it's kind of it's it's hard to see um, unless you know it's there. So it's kind of, you can see kind of surrounded by this building. So it's hard to, to find if you don't know where it is. Yeah, I never actually, never heard of it. I mean, you can ice skate also at the 
Osaki rank, but I had no idea they did that. That's amazing. I would have known, I would have done it all the time. I love skating. It's super cool. Um, definitely, there's some lights that go on outside. So it's, mm -hmm. it's just a great way to be outside in the winter with yeah. for free. <laughs> so it's, it's a good time. You don't have to buy ice skates. Nope. Those would be heavy to pack, definitely. Yeah. Um, so like we said, there's performances um, that happen um, and lots of different kinds of performances. So there is um, musical performances. So we have the orchestra playing. We also have choirs if you want to be part of a choir. Um, the theater, so more um, plays. Um, but also they bring in, like Paula was saying, different people as well. So this is um, Dave Coulier. He is a um, comedian. Man, yeah. So, yeah, you can see the comedian there. This is Chase Bryant, who is a famous country singer. Um, so they bring actual singers to come in as well. Um, someone says they love to try ice skating. <laughs> I don't blame you, but yeah. there will be people to help you. <laughs> yeah, Once it's you fun. Of it, it's, it's pretty very easy. Yeah. Yes, it's very fun. Um, and then we have something called the Campus Activities Board. So these, this is run by students um, with help from, from staff to, to have fun things going on on campus. Um, so this you can see was um, the homecoming dance. So there's a place for you to dress up and go dancing on campus if you'd like. Um, there was a poker tournament at one point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, in the past days to do the paint ray, there were a lot of things that they did. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of questionable things sometimes. <laughs> Playing cards, definitely. Right. So, yeah. This was a cooking competition. So if you and friends are really into cooking, or even if you aren't, you know, maybe it would be more fun if you're really bad at cooking to try to participate in that. Oh my God, it's so funny. Like some people just go and do it just for fun and it's hilarious. It's actually so fun to watch, to watch and to do it. I've never done it, but I've, like, I've seen my friends do it and it's, it's so fun. Yeah. And then they yeah. have um, a puppy. They brought lots of puppies in. So that um, students who, uh, Paula has, has a puppy at home there, but um, for oh, yeah. campus, pets are not allowed. Um, so <laughs> we, bring, we try to bring pets to you because we know they're a big part of your lives. Yeah. And well, uh, there is Zoe and, yes. uh, and Seth on camp, um, Sage on campus, on campus, which are our two comfort dogs. Mm -hmm. And they are always on campus. And honestly, it's for people just to pet them. You just can't go and pet the dogs. That's their job. Like, that's why they're there. They're usually, you'll find them in the library or just around campus. Sometimes they come to the CIC if we ask for them to come for like a little like um, event or something, they will come. But like, they're always on campus. You will always see them. And it's it's honestly great. Once you see them, you'll, you'll, you'll understand why I meant. <laughs> they're amazing, yeah. Yeah, they're amazing. We also have um, free counseling on campus. So if that's something that you find you need, um, sometimes the um, counselor will bring in one of the, the, the comfort dogs. Um, and that really helps people to be a little more comfortable sharing things. Um, so they have a lot of jobs on campus, very important jobs. We love them very much. Mm -hmm. um, and then here on, on the right, um, this is an event called Mr. Concordia, which is a male role model competition. <laughs> so it's a competition. There's like an interview. So think of like a beauty pageant, but they have it as a male role model. So someone who is going to be um, someone to look, look up to or to ask about just their student experience. They're kind of a public figure on campus, but it's a fun event to go watch. Yeah, it's funny. It's really funny. Uh, one thing, um, one extra thing I wanted to mention. Uh, another one of the dances that the school offers is something called Dancing Through the Decade. Mm -hmm. And this is particular one of my favorites just because it's always um, host in really cool places. Like it has been, uh, like it's been um, hosted by the Milwaukee um, Natural Museum, like the museum. Uh, it's been at the um, Discovery World in Milwaukee too. Uh, it's been at the Botanic Gardens um, also in Milwaukee. And those are really cool places to go like because 
you get to go to these places um plus have a dance as well mm-hmm. and it's all like the university will take you there and stuff like that you just got about your ticket which is usually super cheap and it's fun it's really it's really cool like it's really really cool to go to those they offer you you get your your food there and everything it's really cool like i highly encourage people to go to those yeah it's it's a great way to um have like an exclusive party so mm-hmm. it's a fun way to dress up because usually on campus people are a little more comfy um but it's it's a fun way to dress up yeah definitely So here we have um Concordia International Center. So our job, like I said, is to make sure that you guys are feeling at home um and have events going on um as a way to both experience American culture but also to celebrate your own. Um so we have events all year long. Um what those are going to look like um for next year is going to be interesting, but we will still make sure that we have events. Yeah. Um all right. We do things like Valentine's Day so you could see we had um chocolate fountains. <laughs> it was it was a blast. We celebrated Dia de los Muertos, um Lunar New Year, um just coffee mug um recipes <laughs> um Christmas. Uh this was Nigeria in the uh, Nigeria Day. So Nigeria Independence Day, I'm pretty sure um, that's what it was. Yeah. So there's always a lot of events on campus that are both geared towards traditional american holidays but then we also work with students from those countries to um showcase uh, holidays of their own um and and have people participate um sometimes that means them kind of presenting a little bit so you know um giving a, a short information session about here is what this means here's what lunar new year means here's how it works here's here's the traditional food we eat um during lunar new year sometimes it's more of like a present like um a show so we have um a student who does traditional um korean dance um and so she got all dressed up in her korean uh clothing um and did a and did a dance and it, it was beautiful so we have lots of different things going on all the time um but like Paula said we have something called international education week and this mm-hmm. is where our office works directly and and works with you um to talk about here is something cool about your culture or here is a food that's specific uh to your culture or to a holiday or something like that and either you could have something going on during the week or participate in the food fair which is our big event at the end um it's also where i saw the most people on campus ever um was during, <laughs> during yeah. the food fair Um so everybody prepares a lot of a lot of small portions and then they uh we share them with campus and it's a great way for people to get to know you and for you to get to know people. Um so here we have Nigeria Day again it was a smaller version. Um Korean uh, K-pop dancing because we have a Korean club on campus. Um making homemade nochi um which is a uh, an Italian pasta made from potatoes. Oh, that was almost really good. I remember. It was really that. good. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> um, and then here is those shirts that Paula designed again. So we had student workers wearing them. Uh this was a Saudi event. So we had it all. It was gorgeous and our one of our student workers, May, um she like made tons and tons of food. It's one of her passions is cooking. So she yeah. had tons of food. Um this is making homemade sushi so um our one of our staff members her name is Charlotte she is Chinese um so she helped us learn how to make sushi um and then the Korean group also did a spicy noodle challenge which i heard was very spicy <laughs> <laughs> That's funny Okay so we also have lots of clubs on campus in fact we have 75 clubs on campus some of them Um I broke them down into these kinds of groups. So there are church work groups, so if you're interested in doing that, we also have fine arts. So if you like to sing, uh we have something called an a cappella club, which is singing without music accompanying you. Um also the click is a photography club. Um health and fitness club, so if you want to make sure you don't get that freshman 15, um we we have things like lifting and fitness club and um to get you outside falcon fisherman so if you have no experience with the club that's okay the whole point is for you to get to know people and try something new 
Um, there's also multicultural clubs as well, service clubs. So if you like to volunteer or to give back to the community, um, we have those clubs. Special interest. So we have things like moot court. So if you are interested in law, um, there is a law club team basically. And then field specific. So um, chemistry club, education club. So if you're in that major, there is a club kind of for things you can do off campus or outside of the club. So again, it's all on our website if you'd like to learn more, but we're gonna go a little fast because we <laughs> we're running out of time here. Um, so there's also intramural clubs and sports as well. So if you are not a student athlete, but you still want to be part of a team, um, we have all of these clubs and sports. Again, how they are going to operate um, during this next school year is going to be interesting and we're still working on that to make sure everyone is being as safe as possible. Um, but we also have sand volleyball courts on campus. So if that is something you've always wanted to try, we have that on campus for you. Yeah, and they're open 24 seven, that you can play there whenever you want. Definitely. Um, and then things to do off campus. So um, we are located outside of Milwaukee in a, in a smaller city called Mequon. Um, and Mequon has a lot of cool things to do as well. So there's a lot of fast food restaurants. Um, I know we have lots of students who are just like, you know, man, I really want some pizza that is not from the dining hall, or I really want McDonald's. <laughs> we have those in Mequon, um, everything and anything. But there's also some more family owned um, spaces as well. Like this is Hollanders here on the bottom. Hollanders mm -hmm. is a place. It's very cool on the inside. Cool to go mm -hmm. if you have, um, if you want to go out and, and go to a sit down restaurant. Also something new in Mequon is something called the Mequon Public Market, which has a lot of restaurants um, in a larger space. And they're yes. all from around the world. So there is a Greek restaurant, um, a sushi restaurant, um, Spanish. There's a vegetarian one, a vegan one. Yeah. There is mini donuts, there is um, homemade ice cream. Uh, mm -hmm. There is, and like the fun thing about this little, like um, little shops in this market is that they are all local. Um, and when I say local, they're all from Milwaukee. Um, like there are smaller, like, versions of the big ones in Milwaukee, which is, I think is really cool because these are all local from like this area. Right. So and you get to support like, local business. Yeah. yeah. All right, Cedarburg is a little farther away. Um, this is where you would go to um, in the summer for lots of festivals in the warmer months. So if you're staying um, through the summer, there's a lot of cool things to do. Um, again, I'm going a little fast because I know we, we're running out of time here. Um, and then we have Grafton, Wisconsin, which has the larger stores like Target and Meyer. So if you want to go and do some grocery shopping or um, if you need some sports equipment or something and you don't want to borrow one from, from campus, that is where you can go. We also have Port Washington, which has um, the beach. Uh, we have a beach as well, but if you want more of like a typical beach where there's a lot of people hanging out, again, this is before quarantine was happening, so things are going to look a little different for a while, um, but we're still going to be having those. Then here is Milwaukee. So there is tons of things to do in Milwaukee. Oof, so much. So much, I know. Um, so you can see the Milwaukee Public Art Museum. We have um, national sports teams, so we have uh, baseball, basketball, and there's hockey um, team as well. Um, so if you're interested in that, also concerts, sightseeing, it's it's a, a big city. So I encourage you on your own time yeah. to kind of explore Milwaukee. There's always something to do in Milwaukee. Always, always, always. It doesn't matter if it's cold out or not. Right. But also with the quarantine, we don't know how things are going to go, but we'll see. <laughs> And then Chicago is uh, 160 kilometers away for people who are um, not familiar with the, the feet and miles system. Um, we have Chicago that's very close by. Um, again, this is one of the largest cities in the United States. So think Milwaukee and then multiply by a lot. So there's even more. Yeah. <laughs> um, again, some national sports team, uh, Navy Pier. So that's a famous place to go see. Um, the Bean. <laughs> Yeah, so you gotta go get your photo there. You gotta, or you- You have to. <laughs> yeah, it's part, it's um, on your to-do list. 
yeah. um, concerts, so things like that too. So transportation around campus. Um, some students choose to get their own personal vehicle because we're a little farther away from downtown Milwaukee. So it depends on if you live on or off campus, if that's gonna make sense for you. Um, we also have Uber and Lyft. Um, there is a Amtrak train hub in Milwaukee. So if you wanna go a little um, farther away, so if you wanna go to like Michigan or one of the surrounding states, um, that might be a good um, transportation choice for you. There's also the city bus um, and the Ozaki County shared ride system. So that is like a personal taxi that you can go to. Um, the Concordia International Center purchases passes for this and gives them to you when you come. So we can help you get around outside of campus a little easier. And then, like I said, there are the airports of Milwaukee International Airport and the Chicago O'Hare Airport. Um, so these are both international airports that our students use. Um, when, when flying is a little more feasible. Okay, so room and board here. Um, so how to apply for housing. I've gotten a lot of emails from students asking about this. So this is something that happens after you have committed to Concordia University, Wisconsin. And when I mean that, I, I mean um, you have made your tuition deposit. And so your tuition deposit is um, a $250 deposit. Um, it goes straight towards your tuition. We don't use that money for anything else. It just saves your spot in your program. Um, and it just, you know, gets you moving forward in things out, you know, like housing. So um, the student portal, which is something you'll have access to and be given information for once you've committed, um, on the portal, there is a place called the Star Res Housing Application. So you click that and that is how you apply for housing. All right. And then you get your housing decision um, in an email. Um, also, there are meal plans as well. Um, there are plans for if you are resident, resident on campus, so if you're living on campus, or if you're living off campus, there's differences between those. All right. Okay, so now we're at 53, so we have a few questions, but also I am going to put in here um, a survey link. So you may have seen on our um, email invite that if you um, participate or come to one of these um, Concordia 101 events, you get entered into a raffle for a prize that you would get when you come to campus. Um, so the way that you get entered into that raffle is you complete your, your survey. So you put your name in there, a little information about what you learned today. Um, and it's very short, I promise. But everybody, if you could click on that link, that is how you get to that survey and how you get entered into the raffle for a prize, okay? Um, the site shows error. Oh no. Me, oh goodness gracious. That is, thank you for letting me know about that. Okay, I'm going to stop my share here, but if you guys want to put questions in the chat, um, then Paula can, can work on the chat questions while I'll try to make the survey work, okay? Yes, totally. So Paula, were there any questions in there that I missed from students? Let me see, I'll go to the chat, okay, I'm here. Um, how many clubs, clubs is enough to give BC but also have some free time? Oof. Well, honestly, that's like up to you because with school, I promise you, you're going to get very busy. And clubs, um, it really depends on what club you pick because they're all different. They're all also in different times of the semester. Like sometimes they're in the fall, sometimes they're in spring. So honestly, I think that with that, I will just go to your own pace with that. And like, if you want to join a club, I will suggest join one first and then see how it goes. If you think that you have enough free time with school and already a club and anything else that's going on in your life, then join another one. Um, but definitely I will suggest to start with one because you will get busy more than you expect. And um, what was I going to say? 
your student first, for sure. So try to focus on school first, and then you can join all the clubs you want and do everything else you want as well. Paula, would you talk a little bit about how um, you've been handling quarantine? Paula? Okay, she seems to... I'm working on getting the link working, so give me one second. Okay, here we have the link, I think. So you can go here, fill that out, and you will be entered into the raffle. Okay, and then also before we go, thank you guys, everybody, for, for hanging out with us. Um, we have coming up at nine o'clock, um, Central Standard Time, so in three minutes. If you want to jump on the um, what to pack, what to bring um, webinar or Zoom session, that is going to be in the email links for you. Um, feel free to join that. It should be really, really fun. Um, I will also here work on putting that link as well. If you want to join that session, I will put that here in the chat. Give me one second. Great, so that link works, fantastic. So that one right below it, that is if you wanna jump on the what to pack and preparing to come to campus, preparing for long flights, that's a great one to check up to. Okay. Did we lose Paula? I think we may have lost her, lost internet connection. Okay. So I'm gonna quick look through these, these chats here to see if there's anything I missed or if there's something that I can answer for you. Um, psychology, fantastic. Have a great time. I'm sure you'll learn lots. Um, I have someone asking about to visit Concordia in July, August. Good question. Okay, so there's a lot of questions from Stefan here. So um, Stefan asks if it's possible to travel to campus in July or August. Uh, that is a great question. Um, we have decided that our summer classes are going to be happening online. So there will be some people on campus just to um, make sure those online classes can happen correctly and we'll slowly be starting bringing our staff members back onto campus. Um, but it's going to be a slow process. So I encourage you to email um, your specific travel dates that you'd like to visit. Um, and I'm going to put in the chat here our international that admissions email. So that is our general email. So if you have questions or if you want to say, here's when I'd like to come visit um, during July, August, um, will I be able to do that? That's a great question. We'll probably be able to make something work, but I don't want to promise anything. Um, and acceptance letter for I-20 that we, once we have everything we need for the actual application, it's about a week to two week turnaround for an acceptance. Um, and then from there for the I-20, that is another um, process. So we need to make sure we have all of our information before we do, uh, we issue an I-20. So that means that the tuition deposit um, the financial paperwork to show that you are able to afford um, your education here. Um, for our undergraduate students, um, that means probably waiting until you get your scholarships. Um, graduate students, you know, because we're a more affordable um, college for graduate students, we do not issue scholarships. Um, and also getting a copy of your passport. Those are the things we need in order to issue the I-20. Okay, see if we have other... Hey, hello. Yes, hello. Yeah, hello. Did you have a question? No, I don't have any question at all. Oh, okay. Just saying hi. Fabulous. Yeah, I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm going through questions here. So I have somebody. Did you have a question to ask? Just making sure again. 
No, I am ask. I want to ask about the when the universities will open when the COVID nineteen is over. So, like I said, we are planning to start on time on campus. So for fall, that means what is it? August twenty fourth, I think. Um, okay. So we're planning on starting on campus on time. So whether uh, what will happen in the meantime, we're not sure. We can't control the future, unfortunately. Man, we wish we could. It would make yeah. it so much easier. Um, but that is our plan right now. Mm -hmm. um, we have somebody asking, what is the best neighborhood to live in outside of campus? That's a great question. Um, it kind of depends. It depends what you're looking for. Um, if it means you're looking for somewhere that's very, very close to campus. Um, there are obviously apartments very close to campus that students use. Um, Google is going to be your friend in that, trying to find something that works for you. Um, there are also places a little farther. So if you want to live in downtown Milwaukee, that is possible. Um, <clears throat> you're probably going to need to find a person to carpool with. Um, and we are working on getting like a carpool um, group so that you can kind of text to see like, hey, I'd like um, to carpool, can we talk more? I want to ask you one more thing at all, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, if, we, if I could not attain the interview, visa interview, so I want to defer my admission for Jan 2021. Mm -hmm. So how can it possible? What is the procedure of it all? Yep. So if you email us at that international.admissions email and say you want to defer your I-20, we yeah. will do that free of charge for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So we'll send you a new I-20. Okay. Um, but we know mail at this time is a little unsure. Um, yes, ma'am. Yeah, a little bit. Um, so the sooner here in my, let us know, the better. Here in my country, all the embassies are closed. Are you in India? Yeah, I am from India. Yeah, so we know the mail has, has also yeah. closed. I know. Hopefully that opens back up soon. Um, yeah, for India specifically, we don't know if we send something, it will just kind of wait or if it will be thrown out. So we're mm -hmm. waiting to hear also for India if mail is going to open up and then we will send the I-20. So we don't want you to lose the I-20. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. It's important. Yes, definitely. Okay. Making sure. Um, oh, somebody's going to be pursuing an MBA in human resources. Fantastic. You'll be in that beautiful building Paula talked about. Um, fantastic. Okay. So, two things for you guys. One, use that survey link so you can enter into the raffle. Okay. It also lets us know what we did well, what we can improve upon, what questions you might still have. Um, so check that out. Also, that um, 9 o'clock session about what to pack, what to bring has started, but you can still join it. So if you have any other questions, I will be here. But if you want to hop off and join that one, go for it. Okay? So I'll be hanging out here still. Um, but those two links, those are important. I also remember put our general international admissions email in there as well. Um, we also have WhatsApp. So let me make sure I get our WhatsApp phone. Um, one second. And then if you want to, um, you know, instead of email, if you're like, there's way too many emails happening in my life right now, I would much rather do WhatsApp. That's fine too. So here is our um, WhatsApp number. Okay. Yeah. Noted down. So it's a great way to get in contact with us if you have other questions. Um, if you want to talk to a student, right now um, that phone is being held by a student. Um, so you can talk to him about his personal experience as well. It's a good time. I will note that WhatsApp number. If I have any query, I will message you. Um, it, it won't go to me directly. It will go to oh. one of our student workers. Okay. Um, but no he knows how to use and get in contact with us too. And he has a lot of answers. For the general stuff. Okay. Checking through here really quick to see if there's any questions I can help answer right away. 
except using personal cars, are there any other ways to commute? For example, I will be traveling from Chicago, but sometimes inclement weather makes it difficult to commute. Yes, that is true. Um, right now it's a little, Chicago, like we like we said, Chicago and our campus are about an hour and a half away if you're using like a direct vehicle. Um, there are ways, but it's it's um, we're working on getting that um, ride share kind of like text group happening where you can opt in. <laughs> other people who live in Chicago. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's kind of hard to to commute to Chicago. Um, some students have. Um, taken a bus up to like um, as far as they can go north and then they use the ride share passes that we give them at the start of the year to get the rest of the way to campus. Ow, excuse me, just hit my elbow. Um, <laughs> but so it is possible, it just takes a lot longer if you're not going to be purchasing your own vehicle. Otherwise, I suggest find a friend in class to commute with who also uh, lives in Chicago. Um, Diagnostic medical sonography. Oh, that is fabulous. I'm sure um, that is highly employable. So congratulations on getting into that program. Could I play some drums like training or for fun? That is a great question. Um, we do have um, a great music department. I'm sure if you went and asked to say, hey, can you just show me a little bit of how to use the drums? Um, there would be a professor or a student who would be more than happy to help. Um, uh, and yeah, ice skating is really fun. Okay, I would like to join and ask. If you, yes, feel free. Ask a few questions. I can't hear you, and you are not muted. Do you have um, your sound on on your personal device? Otherwise, feel free to put it in the chat privately to me. You can do that too. So that the group doesn't see it. Oh, hello. Hi, Stefan. Yes, I uh, would like to ask another question. Um, so we we all got the email to uh, join this meeting today and also the whole week. Yeah. Um, so this is for international accepted students. Correct. So I guess okay, I'm accepted at Concordia University. Yes. But uh, I didn't get any acceptance letter right now, so I don't know, okay, when will I get this one? Um, do you know any deadline when we'll get the acceptance letter? You should be getting that in the email um, very, very shortly, if you haven't already. Um, okay. So it should be in your email, but Stefan, I will write down your name um, and check on that, okay? If you want to hang on at the end of the call, I can do some research while I'm on the computer right now. Okay, thank you. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Hello, we can hear you. Oh, great, 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 ma'am. How are you? I am doing well. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm Pruthak from India. Hey, what time is it in India right now? In India, it's uh, right now, it's almost... Uh, uh, 7.40. 7.40. 7.40. Yeah, it's it's evening. It's almost time for bed. No, no, not bad. Not yet. <laughs> you see, <laughs> me, guys, me, amid the lockdown, me. we have lost out our uh, schedule of sleeping, you know? Mm. Actually, we have uh, quite... Uh, the sleep uh, sleeping activity and the timetable is quite uh, you know, disturbed due to the lockdown. We, uh, we have our sleeping time at least around 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock at night. Mm. Because we don't have any in the entire day so we are not feeling sleepy at night sure you're like you're bored <laughs> so did you so have a, how is the, hmm? did you have a question no, please, please, please please yeah i had a question so uh, last week i received my uh, admission uh, acceptance letter uh, no sorry uh, the, uh, a week before i received my acceptance uh, letter and then uh, last week i received my i20 uh, but I had the same question that I didn't uh, receive it uh, via postal services. Mm -hmm. So when can we accept, expect that? Yeah, that's a great question. A lot goes into that um, and things that are outside of our control, like the Indian mail. Okay. 
because mail in India has been um, shut down for COVID-19. So we are waiting to hear when the mail will open up because we don't want your, um, um, we don't want important paperwork getting lost like that. So we're waiting to hear when it opens up and then we will mail it right away. Um, how long it's gonna take from when we put it in the mail to when it arrives to you, that is a very good question. Um, but we will make sure to put the uh, tracking number on there for you. Okay, okay, I, I, I get it. Uh, and uh, again, um, uh, thank you so much. So you guided us very nicely. You showed uh, so many things that are really important for us. So it's fun. I promise. It's fun. It's fun when you actually get here. <laughs> um, um, and there's a lot, a lot of things to do. Definitely. Actually, I'd like to share one of my experience. Uh, you won't believe that I had actually had a dream that there was this place where there was a lake quite near to it, and there was this university where I was studying. Wow. And the next day, I heard. Yeah, it's true. It's true. I don't know. It was just kind of like an instinct. That's amazing. You you bring to life the phrase "dreams do come true." They do. Yeah. Yes, I, I was actually just I was uh, standing by the water, and on the other side there was my university, and I didn't know what, what place that was. Wow. By then I didn't even wasn't even thinking about moving to America or anything like that. There was nothing on my mind, mm. but I had a dream. It says this place uh, where there's a lot of water, and the other side there's my school, and I'm standing right in, between, in the middle of it. Oh, I can't wait for you to actually be on campus. So you can see that. It's even me that. too. Me too. Even, you know, this crisis is just like you know increasing my temptation to be actually there. You won't believe. My yeah. family is also looking forward for me to be going there. Yeah, definitely. I, uh, that's what we've heard from all of our students, whether they're American or not. Is that they're like, I am. Yeah. I want to get out. I want to go outside. I want to go travel back to campus. Yes. Um, so you're not alone. And the place is quite scenic. You know, the mm -hmm. campus is quite scenic. It's like yes. a dream come true. It's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. The quite beautiful. Lake Michigan, which is one of the Great Lakes, which is yes. where where our campus is on. And uh, some of some of the part of uh, the college is just like my school back in Zambia, where I used to study in Lechwe School. So wow. it is just similar to that. Fantastic. Yes. So you'll feel right at home uh, and also just in yeah. awe of the beauty. Yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. It was nice talking to you. So you can disconnect me so that others can talk as well. Sure. If you press um, end on the bottom right, it should be a red button. Okay. You can leave the meeting. Okay. okay. I can't do I'll, it. Yeah, I'll leave it. But thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. I look forward to meeting you on campus. Me too, me too. Same here. Okay. Have a good have